Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to skim coat a wall after wallpaper removal in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I'll be using a 14 inch blue steel drywall taping knife, a 16 inch stainless steel drywall mud pan, and some all-purpose joint compound, thinned down to a yogurt-like consistency or a thick milkshake consistency. You're not gonna believe how smooth these walls turn out especially after you see how they looked when the wallpaper was removed by the DIY homeowner. The walls are completely gouged up and also the brown torn drywall paper can be a problem. So I'm gonna show you the exact product you need to use to seal it up. But first, you need to cut away any blistered, bubbled areas and also remove any little pieces of the wallpaper that you can. You'll also need a razor knife and a six inch drywall taping knife to do any scraping. All right, I'm cutting this loose paper off and it reveals the brown paper, which I'm gonna seal up. I'm not gonna show you the whole process of tearing this stuff out, but as you can see the corner, it's gonna need a little bit of attention and also the tape joint. A little more scraping, remove any little pieces. You want to gouge into the wall, but just lightly scrape over it and remove anything you can. All right, so uh, grab my uh, bucket. I've got a five gallon grid that you put in. I'll be using a guard problem surface sealer that locks down the torn drywall paper. It also seals up the uh, wallpaper adhesive. It's perfect for this scenario. So basically you just need to get it on the wall. Keep in mind it's pretty thin so it goes a long way. You don't want to just throw up a whole puddle on the wall but if you do you can just work it out. I'm just using this little whizzy roller so I can just move quick. Just want to get a light consistent coat on here. I'm sure your walls probably don't look as bad as these, but either way, you're probably gonna wanna skim coat them. So this is a great series for you to watch. I'll leave links down in the description of the previous video. All right, got this lower section done. Gonna hit this top section. I'm just gonna show you how to skim coat this small wall right here so the video is not too long. You do wanna pay special attention to the corners. Those are the most visible. All right, gonna work this out a little more. Like I said, the guards goes a long way. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick run through on how I repaired this corner tape joint and also this horizontal tape joint. I'm just gonna apply some all-purpose joint compound so I can embed. It's a new tape, it's a fiber fuse. It's a matte fiberglass tape. It's not like the mesh. This stuff is super thin and works perfect on repairs. Just want to bed it like regular paper tape. It bonds really good with this all-purpose joint compound. I'll be skimming over all that. I'm going to put a bed of the all-purpose in this inside angle with my six inch drywall taping knife. And like I said, I will leave a link to the full video of these two repairs down in the description and also at the end of the video in the end screen, the last 20 seconds where it shows links. Now for this inside angle or corner, I like to always use paper drywall tape. I think it gets a lot crisper, cleaner corner. It's already got a crease, so you just fold it over and stick it right in the mud that you applied with your six inch knife. Run your finger over it just to get it stuck a little. What you wanna do is start in the middle and pull up. If you don't do that, you're gonna get a crinkle in the paper. Then go back down from the middle and then do it again on the other side from the middle and up and then back down from the middle. The key is to work clean in the corners and I'm ready to skim coat. The repaired areas have dried. 
and I'm going to use the all-purpose joint compound thin down to a yogurt like consistency you don't want it too thick you kind of want to thin it out get all the air bubbles out I'm going to start with the top section first get any loose debris out that still might be there a little bit in the corners I'm just going to get the mud up and then smooth it out. You don't want to put too much mud on your knife when you're applying it to the wall. You kind of want to keep it in the center of your knife or you're going to splooge mud out the sides of the knife and make a huge mess. So like I said, I'm getting the mud up here, I'm not putting too much on at a time. But I do know that I'm going to come back and smooth it all out. Pull away from corners. You always want to pull away from corners. Once you've got the mud smoothed out, then you can go vertically up and down against that corner bead. Again, the corners are very important, including up against the ceiling. All right, so I'm going to smooth this out. I'm applying pressure on the right side, lifting on the left. That's why it's not leaving a line on the right side. That's how you keep it nice and smooth for minimal sanding. Doing the same thing. Away from the corners, want to keep that nice and tight. Pressure on the right side. Nice and smooth. Long strokes now I'm gonna go horizontally I'm basically taking a lot of the mud off a piece of wallpaper love these LED work lights that I'm using they don't get hot like the halogen lights I'll leave a link down in the description to my Amazon store where I showcase all the tools I use in my videos. And if you're new to my channel, my name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing and painting game, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification to get alerted whenever I put out a new video. All right, let's knock out this lower section real quick. Those repairs are still a little damp. I'm gonna stay off of the corner. The fiber fuse is already dried. So again, I'm basically just getting the mud up and then I'm gonna come back and smooth it out, which takes out any little air bubbles or little air pockets and any knife marks. There is a little bit of debris coming off, no big deal. I can just smooth over it. If I see a little piece of the wallpaper, I can just pick it out. But this is the first of two skim coats. So we're going to end up with a super smooth wall. Get that dry wallpaper. If you didn't put the guards on it, it would blister and bubble, guaranteed. I know some people say they don't have a problem with that. But in my experience, I'd rather use the guards as an insurance policy to not have to hassle with any bubbles or blisters. All right, so I'm putting the pressure on the right side, lifting a little on the left, which gets rid of those knife marks. I am applying a little bit of pressure just to squeeze out any air bubbles and keep it nice and slick smooth. Let me know in the comments if you have a wallpaper removal job you're working on. And also let me know if you're a DIYer, painter, handyman, contractor, just kind of curious of who's watching these videos. Here's a pro tip for you. Always have good lighting, even if that means getting some LEDs or some kind of work lights. The more you light up the skim coat, you're going to see all the imperfections and you'll be able to make it nice and tight, which just makes it so much easier when it comes to the sanding. Another little spot. Again, this is the first of two skim coats. You can get it pretty slick with one, but the second one really makes it smooth as silk. 
All right, just going to smooth out a couple more of these sections. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me a hashtag drywall tube. That way I know who's actually watching these videos. All right, a couple more swipes. And we got a slick finish for the first skim coat. And if you want to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. There's more of my most popular video links down below in the description.